All right, so let's talk about the uh, second plus menu, the, um, the memory menu. So we go sec uh, second, the blue button, and then the plus sign, because right above it says mem for memory. And there's, there's a few different things uh, that you can do here. Um, and um, we're not gonna go into even half of them at this point. Uh, but number two, that's where you can delete, um, delete programs if you have any or if you care. Sometimes you're working with programs and, and then uh, you need to delete them. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, when you, uh, num number four can be used for clearing out the lists of data. We'll be learning more about that uh, about the middle of the course. And uh, you can archive and unarchive uh, programs and things to, uh, uh, so they don't take up as much space on, your, on the hard drive of your calculator. Uh, but uh, the, the, what I really want to talk about was options one and seven. If we go to option one, uh, this will show you um, uh, information about your calculator, gives you uh, a website to go to, um, and uh, gives you the ID number, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, for th this is one of the cover calculators. So this 5.4.0.0034, that's the operating system. That, that's fine. You don't need to worry about your operating system on the color calculator. However, on the, um, on the black and white calculator, uh, the non-color, um, this number here, in this case, 2.40, that tells you the operating system. If yours is, uh, is a smaller number than 2.55, then uh, we need to get your um, operating system, your calculator upgraded. And that's not a problem. Just You just bring it to me and I'll connect it to mine and, it'll, and I'll share my operating system with yours uh, for my actual calculator. Now, this isn't my actual calculator and this number is lower than it is supposed to be. Um, but yeah, you want it to be 2.55. If it's lower, let's get that upgraded so it has all the bells and whistles. Uh, now, if you have a TI-83 calculator, you cannot upgrade the operating system. It's just not designed to do that. Okay, uh, so what else? Well, uh, back on second plus, uh, option number seven is reset. And this is something I do use occasionally. Um, there are two ways to reset your calculator. And uh, the main reason you might want to do that is your calculator is glitching out or, or, or something like that. And you say, oh boy, you know, I've, I've tried everything and nothing is, you know, really, uh, really working. So um, uh, two things you can try. One is to go to defaults. Okay. If you go to defaults, it'll say, now, are you sure you want to do this? And you can say, yep, let's reset the calculator. Now, if you have any programs built into your calculator or, or added to your calculator, and we'll, we'll learn about that later on in the course, just a little bit. But if you have any programs, and I don't on this one, uh, I just hit the, the PRGM button. Um, or if you have any data, uh, and we're going to learn about this later in the lists. Whoops, wrong, bu uh, wrong button. Keep hitting the wrong one. Um, if you have any data in the list, which I do, those things will not be eliminated when you reset the calculator via that choice called defaults. Clearly, my data is still there, even though I did just uh, set my calculator back to default. Okay. Um, so that's so default is, is a nice way to reset the calculator without getting rid of anything. So you try that first. If that doesn't work and you're trying to reset your calculator, if that doesn't fix whatever the problem is, then you're going to need to go to all RAM. Now that's going to get rid of everything and get it completely back to factory settings. So your programs, your functions that you had in the calculator, your lists of data, they're all gonna be gone. For the most part, that's not a big deal, but programs can be a, a problem. And, and so if, if you have to do that, you'll wanna um, copy those programs over to, to another calculator or, or to a desktop or laptop and then, and then put them back on when you're done. Anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to cover. Uh, on the memory menu. So uh, glad uh, we could cover that.